If you're anything like me, it's sometimes very difficult to focus on the big picture. The big picture for me is often occluded by what I'm doing uh, over the next hours, uh, what the tasks for the day are, what my working day is going to look like, what's in the diary for next week, for next month. All these things have a habit of occluding the big picture. And of course, in this time of pandemic, that's even worse. We wonder what the coming weeks and months are going to look like for us. We're wondering what rules are going to change will we be able to visit loved ones will we be able to travel what effect is the pandemic going to have on us and that certainly does occlude the big picture however in today's reading john tells us what the big picture is he tells us of a god who is the alpha and omega he tells us of a God who was there at the beginning of time. He'll be there at the end of time. And of course, tradition tells us that John is writing this letter, this book, in very difficult circumstances. He's believed to be in exile on the island of Patmos. But because he's known the love of Jesus. He's been alongside him. He's written a gospel which directs us to the identity of Jesus. He tells us about the big picture, the God who is always there, who will be alongside us in and through our relationship with his son, Jesus. So may you know the love of Jesus today and may the big picture be revealed to you now, today and always.